everybody. How you doing? I um, have some good news this week. I haven't made a video here in the last couple of days, and it's because I've been kind of busy. Um, I actually have found a job up here, and not just a regular job, but a job that I used to have for many, many years, um, working at a particular uh, transportation position where I had an office, a cubicle, a chair, you know, all the, the comforts of an office worker. And um, I got a call from my old boss who I've worked for, like I said, for many years, and basically make a, a long story short, they needed me back. So this is a very good job, very good paying job. It's full-time benefits. I wasn't necessarily looking for that at this point, just being up here. I was just kind of enjoying the Northwest and uh, not really looking around too much. Kind of looked around a little bit on some of the employment sites, but I uh, wasn't really serious about anything. And when I got this phone call, I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is just great. I can I can make some money this summer. But the other parts that are really wonderful is that um, my former boss, now my current boss, has allowed me to plug in to power every night. So if you look at my van, those are all electrical there that doesn't have anything to do with batteries or anything of that nature. I've got all my electrical plugged in. I also have a... Um, Oh, you've seen this heater before, I'm sure. But this little portable heater um, is a ceramic heater, and it really heats my van at night really well. It's still getting a little cool here at night, and I can turn that thing up during the night, and I am staying very warm. So I do not have to have any kind of battery-powered um, appliances at all. My TV, my heater, the lamps in the back, uh, all of that stuff plugs in and it's kind of getting dark outside so I don't know if you can see past my dashboard but there's kind of like um electrical meter and then there's like a cabinet out there with a little sliding lock and what I do is I run a wire from my van you can kind of see it hanging through my window visor there opening it partially and I run it right outside to the ground and plug it into a plug and basically every night I have power <laughs> so I'm very happy and very jazzed. Um, it will make living a lot easier. And, um, you know, when it comes to time where it gets really hot up here, um, I'm kind of thinking about just getting a portable uh, indoor air conditioner, which I'm sure you've seen them where they run a tube out through the window, but the actual air conditioner is on wheels and sits inside of, the, of, of your room. Um, so they're not made to cool too much more than a bedroom where, well, this van is a lot smaller than a bedroom is. So I will set it between my seats, run just a power line out there at night without running anything else other than maybe my alarm clock. And, uh, when it gets really hot at night here during the summer, I'll just have a portable air conditioner that will keep my van cool. So I've got it all figured out for remainder of winter and, um, if I stay here all the way till, I'm thinking December, uh, at the latest, um, I will then head back down to Arizona where, of course, you know, I don't need any elements, uh, nothing to keep me really warm because it's, it's pretty nice down there at that time of year during the winter. But, um, yeah, this is, um, this is a really big score for me because uh, it allows me to be able to um, go with my van, I guess, unplug when I need to run around and go get lunch, after, you know, during work, um, I can kind of batten everything down inside the van, uh, so I can go ahead and secure my drawers, all of that, and I can just run around anywhere during the daytime or on my days off, and then at night I come in through the gate, which is a lock gate that I have a key to, come back in, plug in my van, and voila, I got power. The other thing that's good is that the office, which is right the building that I just showed you that has the cabinet has a bathroom inside besides my cubicle. So I can go in there and use the bathroom. And uh, of course, you guys know I, I use Planet Fitness for um, taking my showers. And uh, that's about a, I think it's an eight mile run from here. So it takes me no time to get up there, work out a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, 
and um, and basically shower. So um, I got all the comforts of home. Um, you know, in case of an emergency, I'm right here in the bathroom. I can just go out and do it. Um, you know, I got my shower. I got my, my plug in. So, you know, um, if you're going to be a van dweller and you're going to live inside of a van, this is the best possibility that you could possibly wish for. Um, getting free power and uh, being able to live in a, quote, gated community, right? And uh, just really have everything that you need. Um, I don't really cook in my van, although, you know, I could get something electrical to cook. Uh, I think you guys know I kind of go out and fast food fee, feed and uh, run around and do that and I try to spend about ten dollars a day uh, and that's been working really well since I started it I've been staying pretty close to it um, every so often I go over but that three hundred dollars a month ten dollar a day uh, budget pretty much works pretty well I also here at work get free lunches from time to time like this week um, four days out of the five there are people coming by and providing lunches because they're speaking uh, to students and things like that so I get free meals at lunch. That means at night I can spend a whopping $10 for dinner. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd pass on the news. Like I said, it's been about a week since I made a video. Uh, everything is going so good. I hate to say that because, you know, sometimes when you say everything's going so good, you know, the other shoe falls and something goes wrong. But I'm really not anticipating that. This um, Everything's been great. The van's been running good. Um, Everything is just very cool. So anyway, that's it for my video. I didn't really have much to show you. Um, I'm thinking of making a video uh, pretty soon about when I bought my van and how I actually started to build it and try to give you guys a basic idea on how much that I spent to actually build my van in, you know, very, very, very much cost cutting and uh, not really spending a whole lot of money on anything, but getting it where it's livable. Uh, where I can like plug into power like right now. It's just like being at a house. I mean uh, It's in a van. I don't have no rent. So it's um, Like I said, it was working out great. So I think I might do that next video But I'm gonna have to really plan out and uh, try to go item by item and I'm afraid that the video might be really long So I try to keep my videos about eight or nine minutes uh, But like I said, we'll see what happens with that. So Anyway, hey, you guys have a great night. Again, if you like my video, please like. Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe, please do. And I will talk to you probably in a couple of days. All right? Have a great night. Bye-bye.